This is the Chem 1 lecture over mole calculations uh, that include volume and density of gases. So uh, previously, we talked about how to convert between grams and moles and particles and moles. So if you remember the mole map, we focused down here on the bottom part. So um, on the bottom, we, uh, you remember we talked about how to go between moles and mass. That's your periodic table, your molar mass, and that's always per one mole. Then uh, we talked about going between moles and particles. That was Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, whatever particle that is, molecules or atoms, is also equal to one mole. But we didn't talk about the top part. We're going to talk about um, today. So going between moles and volume. So um, this only works for gases at STP. We'll talk about what STP is in a second. But up here, if you have a mole of a gas at STP, 22.4 liters of it will contain one mole of particles. So we have the third and the final piece of our mole map. So let's do that a little bit. So a mole of any gas at STP occupies 22.4 liters, which is a pretty big volume. Picture a one liter Nalgene that's over 22 of them. Um, since the space between gas molecules is so large, uh, compared to the actual size of the molecules, it is mostly empty space. Um, the differences in the size of the molecules don't really make a difference in the volume, how much space it takes up, since it's mostly air or empty space. So um, STP stands for standard temperature and pressure. And um, those values, standard temperature is zero degrees Celsius and standard pressure is one atmosphere pressure. You do need to know these. Um, we'll use them multiple times throughout the year. Um, I think it's a little funny that standard temperature is zero degrees because that does not feel very standard here in Texas. Um, and standard pressure is one atmosphere. ATM stands for atmospheres. That's the amount of atmosphere that's pushing on a per, um, at, or anybody, whatever, um, at sea level. Um, so that's how much atmosphere is pushing. And that's where those numbers come from. So um, let's look at some calculations. Uh, we need to find the volume in liters of five moles of ammonia gas at STP. So every time you see that gas at STP, that just means that, hey, we can use that 22.4 liters. And at, at this point, um, we're, we're always going to keep it at STP, so I don't want you to worry about that too much. So um, just like before, we're going to start with our given five moles of ammonia. So five moles of ammonia. And now we're going to have to convert that to liters. So we're going to have to convert it out. We're going to go ahead and put moles down here in the denominator to cancel it out. Well, one mole of any gas at STP is 22.4 liters. So we've canceled it out. Moles of NH3 have canceled out. We've got liters. So we've got to multiply those two numbers. And don't forget to round to the right number of sig figs, which is one sig fig, not my favorite. So if you plug this into your calculator, it would spit out 112 liters. The problem is we need one sig fig, yuck. So our one sig fig here would be the hundreds place. So technically, not my favorite, but technically your answer should become 100 liters of ammonia. You won't see that, you won't see one sig fig from me very often. <laughs> So, um, the next example, if a five liter container is filled with hydrogen gas at STP, um, how many grams of hydrogen does it contain? So in this problem, we're starting out with 5.00 liters of hydrogen gas. Don't forget it's a diatomic. And we need to get to grams. So first thing, think with your mole map, we've got to go from liters to moles. So 22.4 liters of H2 is going to be equal to one mole. So the first thing we got to do is we got to get it into the center. Oops, not nitrogen. Hydrogen. Now, from moles, we could actually go, we could go to particles or we could go to grams. In this problem, it asks for mass, so we're going to have to go to grams. So one mole of H2. So to get the mass of that, you'd have to look it up on your periodic table. Hydrogen is 1.01. .01. Since it's a diatomic, we have to double it. It's going to become 2.02 .02 grams of H2. So when we've done that, we've canceled out our liters of H2. We actually canceled out our moles of H2. We're left with grams, which is what we were asked to find. So now it's just a matter of doing the math here. Um, 5 times 2.02 .02 divided by 22.4. And we need to be sure to round our answer to, let's see, three sig figs. So we're going to end up with 0 0.451 grams of hydrogen. 
So um, since a mole of any gas takes up 22.4 liters of space, that's our volume, um, we can easily get molar density because we have the mass and we have the volume. We combine those two things together and we get density. It sounds really scary, but it is pretty simple considering that we have the molar mass, the grams per mole, off our periodic tables. So you look at our uh, next example. What's the density in grams per liter of sulfur dioxide gas at STP? So we need grams and we need liters. Well, we can look up grams off the periodic table. If you find the molar mass of SO2, you find that it weighs 64.06 grams per mole. Well, we have grams per mole and we need to find grams per liter. So we're already halfway there. We already have grams, we just need to change the denominator from moles to liters. So we're going to set up our dimensional analysis with 64.06. I'm going to put grams up top and I'm going to put moles on the bottom. So I don't need to mess around with the grams up top, I just need to cancel out my moles. So notice to cancel it out, I'm going to have to put it up top this time. One mole of any gas at STP is 22.4 liters. So when we do that, we cancel out our moles and we now have grams up top and liters on the bottom. So we found density. So you divide these two numbers and you're going to get, um, let's see, 2.86. And honestly here, um, we don't have any numbers in the given problem, so I'm not going to be super picky on sig figs. Um, just be reasonable. Um, since we did use the periodic table and we ended up with four sig figs in our molar mass, that would be a reasonable number of sig figs. Um, if you rounded it to four sig figs, you get 2.860 grams per liter. So the next question is a little bit different. We're asked to find the molar mass. So we've got to find grams per mole. We're given the density grams per liter. So this time we're going to start off with 0.717. And this guy is grams per liter. And we need to find um, grams per mole. So same thing, we don't need to change the top, the numerator. We want to keep it to grams. We need to change the denominator from per liter to per mole. So this time I got to put liters up top to cancel it out. And it's 22.4 liters for every one mole. So when we do that, we've canceled out our liters. We got grams up top, we got moles on bottom. That's it. So we've got to take 0.717, multiply it by 22.4, and you're going to get 16.1 grams per mole. So the next question is, well, what is this gas? Is it ammonia, nitrogen monoxide, or methane? Well, if we have the molar mass, the grams per mole, all we need to do is look up the molar mass of these three compounds. So ammonia, hopefully you don't forget what the formula is, is NH3. If you add up the molar mass of that, you're going to get 17.01 grams per mole, which is pretty close. Nitrogen uh, monoxide in O, if we were to add up the molar mass of that, we would get 30.01. That's not close at all, so we know that one's not right. Not even close. And um, the last one, methane, CH4, if we added that up, we would get 16.04 grams per mole. So that one is definitely closest to our 16.1. So that tells me that this, the identity of this gas is in fact methane because it matches. So um, that finishes up our mole map guys. Um, we can go between moles and grams. Going between moles and grams is going to use our molar mass from the periodic table. Um, going between moles and particles, now remember in particles these um, can be atoms if there's no bonds, or molecules if there are bonds. And then we can go between moles and liters, and that only works for gases at STP. But we can use that 22.4 liters. You notice no matter what you're given, the first thing you have to do is no matter what you're given, you've got to get it to moles first. If you notice pretty much most of the time when we do this, the first step is getting whatever you're given is to moles, then you can then convert to whatever you're asked to find.